I hear you. Halt, settler. This is a restricted area. How the hell did you get through the Kinrath? You should leave. He's a Jedi Master? Well, the bounty is gonna be that much sweeter then. Nar Shaddai is paying extremely well for Jedi, especially if they're alive. I'm gonna say this nice and simple for your little calf hurting head. Unless you wanna wind up dead, leave now. I warned you, but I'm glad you didn't listen. Attack, men! without thinking of the consequences. What? You're expecting thanks? Kunda is in danger, and you've ruined the best chance of averting a full-scale conflict. Right now, Dantuin is at a critical moment. If Kunda falls, then the Republic may lose control of this system. Still, I'm surprised you were able to get this far. Although you do have your Jedi training to fall back on. Every action has consequences, no matter how small or insignificant they seem. And even the smallest choice has the potential for harm. The Mandalorian Wars was proof of this. Intentions mean nothing of a greater tragedy is caused. I need to get to Kunda and warn them. They could be attacked at any moment. The mercenaries have allied themselves with the exchange and are planning to attack Kunda. They've been holding off for the right moment. And now, since they lost their captive Jedi, they'll attack immediately. I'm going to try to reach Administrator Adari. Time is of the essence.
together. Jedi I've heard reports of, and I am Askul, leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. That is correct, and I want you to help me. According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia, and I am committed to taking Kunda. It is inevitable that I will succeed. If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the people of Dantooine, you will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Of course, I will pay well for your services. You'd better reconsider. I can't have a Jedi interfering with my plans. There is a considerable bounty on your kind that I will collect on unless you're working for me. This could have been handled with much more subtlety. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. I hear you. <laughs> Say the word.
I see you have found the elusive Master Brook. He's told me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I can't say that I anticipated that. I thank you for finding him, though. Vrook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. I must ask for your aid again, Jedi. Zeron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. Here is a Mastercard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, please use. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Zeron. Thanks, stranger. I should be back to duty in no time. difficult to make out, my lord. At first it was such a quiet thing. I did not notice it, but now I wonder as if it has always been there. I merely could not hear it before. The sound built so slowly, yet when you listen for it, you can make out the strains, even over the background life of the universe. Do you feel it is a... You... You are the darkness. You which all my... exists to feed your power and my life my life is yours i beg you please <laughs> 